So, on other news, Sarah found a haunted bridge that she is actually, like, something cool really close. She's really jacked about this haunted bridge. Do you guys believe in the haunted stuff? Do you, do you believe in haunted stuff? Do you believe in ghosts and stuff? Do you, Alex? I mean, yeah. I've been in some, like, freaky situations, but... She's talking about this bridge. It's up in Denton. So, anybody that's watching this live in Texas, it's up in Denton. And you knock three times or four times or some weird thing and some goat man figure with yellow eyes comes and I... I don't know. I that sounds kind of weird. I mean, do you think we should go do a video at a haunted bridge in Denton? I think we should. You want to go do it? I'll do it. What happens if you become like a possessed individual? You have to put me down. That's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, this video is now brought to you by Huggies. I had to make a pit stop, as you guys know. We have issues. Sometimes I gotta cut my sleeves off. I'm done with that. I'm tired of that. So I got sponsored by Huggies. Hashtag not sponsored. Just thank you, Huggies, for being there when I need you the most. Um, I'm gonna go uh, find some really short grass. I'm gonna go put put the huggies to use, and I promise you, they're they're not sponsoring this video. It's a kind of a joke. Steven's gonna go take a gander at Ricky and Bobby. There is a Ricky and Bobby inside the inside the thing. I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? Hey, Ricky, we got you something. Got you all honey bun. Yeah. You want it? You want another one? Let's go and feed him some more. We got two. This is Bobby. What's up, Bobby? What's up, Bobby? How you doing? Did you sleep good? How are we doing? Oh, that one got flipped over. I bet you one was in that one. You want to bet? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, that Everything, one. Everything's gone. Yeah, there was one inside. There's a couple giants here. These ones aren't that big. Well, they're just kind of chilling. I woke him up. He was like, <laughs> oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> hey, boys. What are you guys doing? Damn, they're chill. They're like really chill. You want to even play with them? You going to pick them up in cages? You want to pick them up? Yeah. I'll just wear it just because they're, they're grubby little paws. They got a, uh, you know what I mean, Steven? Listen. Oh, <laughs> oh, God. He about tried to come out right there. Yeah, there he goes. Now he's figuring out how to get his paw around you. I forgot to open the bed of the truck up. Hey, buddy. Whoa, look how much he moved this cage. You see that? That makes me wonder how big that one was. That one's a little smarter. Every single time I've done one of these, I've always had an, a trail cam running, but this time the trail cam wasn't working, and I, I can't really afford to keep just going out and buying new trail cams because they're kind of expensive. So here's Ricky, and that's Bobby. We gotta go let Ricky and Bobby out. I think this one's gonna be, I think this one's gonna freak out when I pick him up. No, he's pretty chill. Pretty chill. Hey buddy, calm yourself, calm yourself little dude. Oh. He ain't that big, is he? No, they're both, these are both tiny. What's up buddy, well, I'm not gonna do anything to you. These aren't the big ones that we've seen. Nah, there's some ones out here guys that are like, they look like elephants, they're like big. Like if Steven was a raccoon, these would be like the legitimate, like I don't know if they would even fit in this cage. That's how big they are. Oh yeah, he's pissed, that one's mad. This was chilling. That's, I told you. Calm yourself, buddy. Look at him. He's like, what am I doing in this cage? Get me out of this cage, buddy. What are you doing? Hey, you want a bun? Hey, you want a, you want a bun? That is a, that is yours. And I know which one's yours, because it doesn't, what's, look at him. Calm yourself, dude, it'll be okay. We're just gonna. <laughs> dude, imagine we shut the tailgate, we go transport him. We open up the tailgate, he got out and he's running all around and says, jumps on your face. Oh! My gosh, dang, dude. Scared me, actually. <laughs> I don't think he wants a honey bun. Oh, he wants a honey bun. Nice. Ooh. Calm yourself, dude. Chill out. Calm yourself. Calm down. Speak English. Shh. That one's yours, by the way, just so you are aware. <laughs> this one, me and this one are going to go, we're going to go fist bump. Drink a beer after this. <laughs> Me and this one, you, calm your, okay, you know what? I think it's time to get these things. You, you need to calm yourself, buddy. You bandit looking son of a gun, you. We're, we're not even gonna hurt these guys. Are you ready? You wanna, look at this. Look how gentle this one is. Look at that. Oh yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna. This one's like, get me out of this mother. But the thing is, when you open up the cage, he's just gonna dart. Huh? What? No. If he does, be good for content. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
highly doubt we're gonna have any issues. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a raccoon released and they just turn around and eat your face. But if they do, we got the, the shovel of shovels. He's never done this before, so we're gonna let Alex release him. Do, uh, do you think wanna, do you wanna do the nice one first or the mean one? I'll do the mean one. You wanna do the mean one first? Oh, yeah. You wanna try to play with the nice one? <laughs> so the mean one's the one on the, the right. Now don't worry, I will literally. But I, I'm, I'm being serious when I say that. Whenever you like open up the cage, you're literally just gonna go This is how you open them. See this thing right here? Push that up. I'm not gonna do it now because the son of a gun will just dart. This is a nice one though. Push that up. See that thing? Yeah. Just push it up and then push this in that way and then lift uh -huh. her on up. Okay. And she'll go Bring! Bring! Don't worry, buddy. You're in the woods. We got you. Okay. Going out that way, buddy. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. There you go. Bring! So I know a lot of you guys are probably asking, why do we let them go? For one, this is YouTube, and YouTube is not really for, I guess you'd call it animal cruelty anyway. But uh, we moved into another chunk of the land where they're not going to be a problem whatsoever. There's no houses around here. There's no trash. There's nothing. There's no feeders. It's not an area that we come and hunt religiously for deer or anything. So there's no feeders or nothing out here. So just let them kind of do raccoon things. You know what I mean, Jellybean? This is his first time ever letting one go as well. It's big, big things have been happening today big things. Now it's time to go do something I love. And I'm sure a lot of you love as well. We're actually going to be beeping just for a little bit today. This is a house that has been here since the beginning of Ryan's land. Pretty much this was, I think this was the original house that owned all the land around it. So there could be something cool here. We're not going to show you guys any trash. So don't worry if you find anything neat as an awesome, you will, from, you will know. It is hot. 77, 75, 76 small that's good dirt right there that's good. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that works. Ooh, wow. oh, oh no hold on hold on hold on i don't know it says 226 on it though really yeah that's it for sure look i don't know what that is what, what is that but it's got a number on it yeah i almost want to say it's a tag like an old tag for like maybe like a like a cattle tag maybe 226 I honestly got to have no idea. Do you guys know down below? What is this? A better, better angle. What is that right there? 226. You think that's an old cattle tag maybe? I don't know. That seems so, like for their ear. Yeah. I don't know. That is 1,000%. You can't tell me that's not true. No, yeah, that's true. That's, that's treasure good. out the gate that's right there. Fun. That's good. Well, there you go, Alex. You Small. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. dug something up. There we go. Actually, matter of fact, let's see if that works. Oh, yeah. Actually, I know it works. This is my ring right there. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. Cool. Look at that, dude. That's actually, that's, it was small. We said it was small. Yeah. Okay. There's something right there. Huh. I'm going to say it's like for some water, water thing. You know what I mean? Like the twists on. Hmm. I don't exactly know. See, look, it's got little things yeah. down there. We have found one cool thing and one Mmm, mediocre thing. All right, we've got a bunch of buildings to go through though. We've got this one, we got this one, we got the back half of this house. We still got some time to find something juicy. Right there, baby, right out the gate. That was quick. That was quick. We learned, wasn't there, there's something right oh, there. there it is. Look at that. Hey. That's real. There we go. Could it be reused? <laughs> Looks like it. Yep. Oh yeah. Still working. Okay, that, that working I, don't, I don't know if that's it though. No. Let's see. That's it, yeah. See there's There's something here though. Okay, we got the one that was over here though. But there's something. Hey, that's counted as treasure though. One hundred percent. One hundred and ten percent. We use that. For your new house. <laughs> For my new house. There you go. <laughs> maybe I save a couple bucks. Okay, that was really quick, I know. Really short, small segment of metal detecting. That's not the whole point behind this video. The whole point was actually to get those those raccoons, which we did. That's trash. Uh oh, we kept that. Here we go. This is what we got, though. This is it. Didn't really show you guys. I don't know what that is. Junk. That, I don't, I don't know. Um, this is, that's from the other day. I didn't take that out. This is that penny that was really light. 
I didn't take that out of my pocket. This is the coolest thing we found the entire time. 226, that's probably the coolest thing we did find. And then we did find this and this. This is probably all within like 30 minutes of searching. And these are two that were stuck in there from the other day. Man, I probably should. How do we get this to where we can see the... Uh... That, does that feel like a normal lightness of a penny? Does it feel lighter? Yeah. Yeah, see it? That's, yeah. What I, that's what I thought too. Anyway, I think that's the coolest thing I found. So I'm going to head out of here. I'm going to let, uh, well, I'm going to head out of this area and head somewhere else. I'm actually going to go see Hector Rodriguez. You guys know the guy that owns Optic Gaming. He's got a thing going on uh, he's been asking me to come look at. So we're going to go take a gander. Steven's going to go hang out with his sister and his brother. I wish her, what is it, her birthday? Yesterday? Well, this today. video? Well, yeah. yeah, yeah well, her video. birthday was yesterday. So he's got to go. He's got to go do that. So. So you guys know I've known optics. Wow, I cannot find my words. Optic Hex, Hector Rodriguez for, I don't know, five, five, what is it, 18, five or six years, five years or so. And he is now opening up another another studio up here in, uh, well, we're gonna say it's north of Dallas. Because Frisco, Frisco. He's, in, he is, he's actually in Frisco. All, all the guys, as you guys are probably know, that, yeah, that, that guy right there. He's got a, he owns, he owns a gaming team, the Opta, Opta Gaming. Anyway, they're like the largest in the world when it comes to Call of Duty and, and LOL. And you know what? I've kind of been out of the loop. I, I was in the gaming market quite a long time ago, it feels like. And I've kind of like stepped out. And since then, everything has kind of changed. Like right now, he's setting up an area where he's going to have a podcast area, a streaming area, a bunch of stuff here and over there. And we're actually been thinking about, I think Guggen needs something kind of like this, like a giant whiteboard. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's what you need, a giant whiteboard. That's all you need. I mean, you can get that anyway. But yeah, it's gonna be sick. You gotta cut you. Well, first you have to come and be on the podcast, which is gonna be shot out of there. Um, and then there's gonna be chairs. <laughs> you can sit. There's gonna be chairs. There's gonna be literally everything. But anyway, I had to, like I told you guys yesterday, I was I was gonna stop by here and then got sidetracked. So I'm like a squirrel. I'm literally like an absolute squirrel. But now, now I did. Oh so, yeah, dude. Go. The wheel. We we. I've got one of these ordered actually. We really do with fishing stuff, random stuff. What uh. The, the, the crazy part about that is that it was in that in the storage room and so you got it for free yeah so now i'm just gonna we, we, take <laughs> this off flip it over and then put like a headset like a turtle beach headset some uh turtle wax like products amazon gift cards and i'm gonna do that for the stream that is see this is this is awesome you know you guys know when we do the uh we do we do the spinning the wheel challenges with fishing stuff that's exactly what we're gonna do and look at that is what is this is this made for a child well no it's the the frame is a small frame but it's it's a life size oh it's a life size yeah, yeah, yeah. oh franklin come on frank i like the name frank i think they were to change it from frank to clifford no excuse me from clifford to frank so if you guys don't know who that was, that's Hector Rodriguez. He owns Optic Gaming. He's a guy that actually started it back in the day. I've known him since like 20, 2012, 2013. No, it can't be 2012 because I was Afghanistan. It's like 2013, 14, somewhere around there. When I got involved with UMG Gaming, and that's pretty much, I've been like actually really good friends with him since then. He loves fishing. That's actually how I met Scott Martin years ago. I, I, I didn't meet Scott Martin because of YouTube. I didn't know and didn't even have, YouTube was not even on my mind back then, but I met Scott when fishing with Scott with Hector uh, when I was in Florida and that was pretty much the deal. And then ever since then, I mean, I Hector lives in Frisco now and it's it, hopefully soon I'll be able to hang out with him on a, on, on more of a regular basis, but he's a great guy. I, some of you guys may know who he is. I mean. It's Optic Gaming. Just type it in. They're huge. They're massive. He did a phenomenal job building them. Anyway, I'm uh, it's time, it's time to time to head on out of here. It's only 96 degrees out, which is mm. okay. Quick pit stop. It seems like today is, is filled with a ton of driving, and we got a ton more to do. To be 100% honest with you guys, we're back here at the the tree house is is what it's actually called. That's the name of this place. And for everybody that doesn't understand why it's called the tree house, I think this is pretty much pretty self-explanatory. It's uh. His house is in the tree. He also works on wood endlessly. Endlessly, he's constantly just working on wood. But he needs some help, he needs some rocks. He needs these kind of rocks right here. And my land currently, which we're about to go to, we've got a ton of these just laying around. And I kind of want to see where they're sitting at. They're saying they're gonna pour the foundation next Monday or Tuesday. And I don't know, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna run by there real quick is what I really actually need to do. What are they doing? How you doing? How you doing, sir? Well, there goes the backhoe. So I guess that means they're done with the retaining wall stuff? Big thing is, is they keep moving the rock out. Rackley needs like this rock stuff for. Well, yeah. He needs I, rocks for his I house. Need to hold my retaining up too. <laughs> Somehow. Don't you love the entrance of this though? Look at this. 
Rackley basically needs a bunch of these. And I'll tell you guys right now, on the land right now, since they pushed everything down, we've got plenty of them just laying everywhere, all the way down. I mean, this is the driveway right here. That's where the guys are working, where I just showed you. But I want you guys to see the size of these rocks that they actually did push down. Look at these. We can't, we can't put these in the back of the truck, of course. Look at those. I mean, I'm telling, I'll tell you what, that, that's gotta be, that's gotta be a couple thousand pounds. Look at that thing. That's a big old rock. If there was a rock to worry about picking up, it's gonna be this one. This one's gonna weigh, on a serious note, what do you think, two, three hundred pounds? Honestly, like, uh, what do you think? Say it's probably like 190. 190, 200 pounder, 200 pounder. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick you guys over here. I gotta show you guys. I just was over there watching them make the wall. Pretty interesting. They have to like literally physically chip and chisel every single rock, so hold on. Two more rock. Two more. Two more rocks. Oh, making it back to the treehouse. Rocks. So you already had some rocks, but those aren't really rocks. Those are just kind of pebbles. Those are some rocks. There we go. Now I know I get what you were saying. Oh, these rocks have never met these ones, by yeah, the way. I'm gonna move some of these out of the way. We don't want to break my little cedar tree here. For everybody that's wondering, this is what Rackley and Rob do on days they are not fishing. Literally probably the same stuff that your dads are doing. It's like dad stuff. This is straight up dad stuff. Moving rocks from one piece of land to another. But what's that? There's an actual reason for this though, right? It's something had to do with, you said irrigation or water moving? Yeah, erosion. Erosion. Okay, there he goes. He's, he's got a hill, as you guys can clearly tell. Dude, you need a lot more than just this rock. Yeah, you see, I know. You see how this tree has, has withered away because of erosion? Oh they, my. Why, you need a lot more than just these. So this is a start. Also, last thing before I hop off here and do this, um, I never thought in my entire life of making YouTube videos that I would be filming myself moving rocks. 800 videos ago, you probably could not convince that Rob, hey, you need to go film rocks. Yeah. Oh my land, look at this sucker. There's a secret I've been holding back from you guys. I'm talking about it could be in this box. There's a special rod that we've been making and it might be in this box. I don't really honestly know. We're about to find out. <clears throat> oh, also, look at this hat. My buddy just sent me this hat. This is not a hat you can purchase. Look at that. For anybody that knows what that is, comment down below. That is that. I can't believe he got me one of these. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to purchase one of these. Don't even know where he got it, to be honest with you. He sent me the link and uh... I have no idea where I got it. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna put you guys down for a sec. Oh, that's glorious. That's good. Oh, nothing like a sharp knife. No! Well, on a good note, I didn't need a couple more rods. Okay. Got some more. Gosh dang it. I was looking for a special rod. Tony, you guys, it, it, it'll be here soon. It's a, you know what? We're gonna let it sit. It's, it's not, it's not here yet. It's a, it's a very limited edition deal. It's, it's not ready. It's not ready. Oh, look what came in. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. My buddy Pasquino actually sent uh, some MCUs to me. He's the guy that I did the story on, uh, the military money on uh, about a year and a half ago. He's the guy that was actually with Bergdahl and then he had all the Bergdahl stories and such like that. Well, he sent me an entire complete set, including a boonie and a little bit of stuff for the boonie. Yeah, see this? That's what, well, you don't put it on, you put this on. To, and then this goes over, this draped over. Anyway, oh shoot, I choked myself there. Hey, we got it set up. I think tomorrow, maybe, maybe the next day, I don't know. I think it's time to make an actual ghillie suit. Because as you guys do know, I did give mine away before I got out of the army. I just gave it to one of the new guys that came in. And I kind of regret doing that. So now it's my time to actually make another one. And I have everything I need except for one thing and one thing only. And that is jute. I need a little bit of jute, but I do have some, I do have everything else. So other than that, that could be something in the near future. I know some of you guys have been wanting one, an actual one, a good one one that actually makes sense so could be coming could be happening lemon peasies could be could be could be coming soon so i'm gonna go hang out with avery and sarah and i hope you guys enjoy the whole raccoon thing because i love catching them suckers if you guys want me to do it again let me know i will go out and i will do it and i will get the trail camera working that is right we gotta get that thing working so anyway you guys know the deal click that video right there hey click the one right below the head already hey subscribe right down there do it to it lemon peasies i love every single make thanks for hanging up and i'm gonna do this a video right around. Oh man, can I say that so fast?